She worked really hard for this. All night, she was in that cubby, minding her business, staying off my pillow. As soon as I go to the bathroom, Okay, let's talk about the fit. <laughs> or more specifically, let's talk about how it doesn't fit. Uh, back in 2021, I bought this piece. Am I in focus? Oh no, oh no. So back in 2021, I was the heaviest I've ever been, yada, yada, yada. You heard this a thousand times. What? you didn't hear was about how I purchased some workout clothes because I had just gotten this amazing awesome game that was going to change the way I saw exercise called Ring Fit Adventure on the uh, Nintendo Switch. It is a good game, I will give it that, it is a fun game to play. However, while I was playing it, it kind of got a little consumery when it was talking about how wearing matching pieces made you feel much better when you worked out, which psychologically, yes. How it turned out for me is a little different. I bought a crop top and some biker jeans and a matching sports bra and headband set uh, from Old Navy. And the crop top is in air quotes because this has never fit as a crop top ever. <laughs> and now it's like I'm swimming in it. And I'm so grateful that I've lost almost 80, almost 80 pounds, guys. Almost 80 pounds since then. And I've been telling everybody I'm so excited. But on Sunday, I made a discovery. And I want to share it with you guys today. It's a try on haul, y'all. <laughs> and the best part is I did not spend a dime. All of these are my old clothes. This one in particular, I just forgot it existed. <gasps> what? I could, probably could have fit it anyways. But everything else we're gonna try on today and see if I can fit it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, Yeah, this, this started as a thing that I was doing on Sunday because I just, I tried on some pants and they were too big, which shocked me uh, to my horror because uh, they always were too tight and I could never fit into them and I waited too long to get into them. These pants used to scare me every time I'd see them in the closet because I couldn't fit them. They were always too small, but I, <laughs> I uh, let that fear take a hold too long because now they're too big <laughs> uh but now there are so many things that i can get into that i didn't think i could so we're gonna test how many of my old clothes i can get into today at my current weight and how many more i can get into later on let's get started all righty let's just start with what we already know i I'm wearing the same outfit that I just did the intro with and yeah it, it's <laughs> it's so big like my whole hand even though it's elastic my whole hand can fit into the front whatever moving on yay look at it it's so cute uh, it is a little bit short for my thighs at the moment. Uh, there's a little bit too much thigh, <laughs> but it is a cute little spring look that I got back in, I want to say 2019. Um, I love it. And I honestly did not think I would be able to fit that top, but it's so cute and flouncy and just so girly. I will never not love this style. Not ever. All right, now into the black pink sweater, I guess. Is it a sweater? It's not a sweater, it's a sweatshirt. And it's just, it's so cute. Uh, I'm so happy that I found it. I forgot it existed. Honestly, I would have worn this to the Barbie premiere, <laughs> but uh, yay, we got it back. 
as well as these shorts. Uh, it's hard to see in the recording, but they are blue and white striped with this cute skinny white belt. Um, it kind of fits, but it's a little, it, it, it's comfortable, but it's a little tight. I like my, my pants to be a little bit loose. Um, but the fact that I can get into them, come on, let's celebrate. <laughs> All right, fit number three. Um, so there was something that happened. The yeah, when I was in high school, my senior year, I was introduced to Homestuck. But um, let let me just let me just show you what's going on downstairs here. Yeah, <laughs> these shorts do not fit at all. They are uh, super muffin toppy. Uh, I am barely in them yeah suffocating and i just i feel so stiff and restricted uh but the top itself is fitted a little too fitted maybe <laughs> um yeah uh, it shows every lump and curve but at least i'm in it right yeah yeah <laughs> Outfit number four, keeping with the same shirt, but I want to show you guys this skirt. It is a wrap skirt and it's gorgeous. And I think you can kind of see that it's like got golden shimmer embedded into the fabric. So it's not going to fall out or anything. Uh, it's a little wrinkly, excuse me. <laughs> I literally just pulled these out of the bin and stuck them on, but it ties up on the sides in a unique way like the one underneath goes into the uh, into the side it's super comfortable and you would think that I'd be able to wear this when I was larger but no because it's actually at its like limit so I like it it's swooshy it's very durable I've had it for a very long time I think I got it from my mom actually but it's so much fun look at it <laughs> alrighty on to the next skirt number five it's just a simple little skirt and it's so swooshy i love it um there's nothing really to say about this one it fits really well i like how it flares at the bottom and it's got a little scallop on the lace there i don't know if you can see that or not but it's just so i don't know it's a staple the only real issue i have with it is that it um is very revealing of anything underneath it <laughs> and on the back you'd have to constantly pull it down to keep it from bunching up like that but other than that it fits guys it fits oh my gosh yay <laughs> little celebration dance <laughs> all right all right, like I said, I used to be a Homestuck fan, and yes, I did buy the CrossFit sleeper outfit. Um, it is a little tight. You can see every lump and curve, just like the last one. Unfortunate, but um, it does fit. It's a little snug, obviously, uh, <laughs> and it's hiking up a little bit, but other than that, it, it's kind of cool because when I bought this, I bought it and it was too small for me at the time and I think I was smaller than I am now so I either I'm more comfortable with the tightness of it or um, like I, I wouldn't wear this to bed today I wouldn't but it's a good sleeper piece for when I can fit into it <laughs> Alrighty, next up here, excuse the off-centered position of the top. Uh, this is one of my favorite skirts, got it from Forever 21. Um, now, the sad thing is, one, of course, it's reflecting and you can't see all the sparkly bits, but that's kind of the nature of this skirt. It's just, it's so reflective and I love it, which is why I'm sad that it's now too big. Oh my gosh, I only just recently got back into it and started wearing it. Um, so I'm gonna have to get better at sewing to see if I can tighten the waist and the hips a little bit more because I love it. It's so fun. It's literally a fun skirt. Um, but moving on, come on Grace, move on. <laughs> All right, now it's time to talk about the top. Um, 
I actually really like this and I usually don't like these kinds of patterns. I don't know, they feel very 2000s fat girl wardrobe, if you know, you know. Uh, but this one, it's so nice and I thought it would be way too tight like all the other things, but this fits like a glove. Love the little keyhole in the back. Um, obviously wearing it with a different bra is recommended, but it's like so comfortable and it's giving Y2K and I don't, I don't know, like something about the pattern, I like it a lot more than patterns that I've seen that are similar. Speaking of Y2K, let's get talking about this pastel blue, this powder blue. Uh, baby doll empire waist, not my favorite. It ties in the back, makes me look pregnant. Uh, for my body type, not a fan, but it's very Y2K with those quarter sleeves and just like the color. Moving on to the skirt, I love this pencil skirt. It's super cute. I don't wear it enough. I need to find more reasons to wear it, but it's sort of like this corduroy material. I don't, I don't know. It's super soft and it's kind of a denim, but it's, it's just, I love it. I get love that I can get into it and it's not super tight and not riding up. It's like literally the perfect size. Um, it's not as, you know, swooshy as the other one, but not a fan of the top, but the skirt, the skirt is in. The skirt is in the rotation now. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Another Y2K top in that very lovely blue. Again, quarter sleeve as I'm demonstrating here. Uh, I like this slightly more than the other one. They're by the same company, if you couldn't tell by the same shade of blue. Um, and it's not bad, it's just not my favorite. The skirt, on the other hand, um, we're gonna have a word about this cute skirt. I love it so, so much. You have no idea. And I'm about to tell you why. Um, Editor Grace, can we, uh, can we get a moment, please? Um, this one, let me, let me adjust you real quick because I need, I need to talk to you guys. Um, so the thing about this particular skirt, this skirt means more to me than anything else I've worn today and anything else I've talked about today on the voiceover. I, this one's important because I bought this skirt when I was my lowest weight visiting Tokyo, Japan. I was in Shibuya with a group of friends. Don't want to get into it, but um, we ended up going to a store called Smile Land and it's a plus size store. Their measurements over there are a little different. <laughs> it was based off of your waist measurement. And while I myself right now am not 33 inches like I was back then, the fact that I can wear this right now, <laughs> the fact that I can wear this right now, it's, it means a lot. Um, it means a lot. I honestly did not think I could get into this unless I was 33 inches. And I didn't feel like I would be pretty in it if I wasn't 33 inches and I'm not right now I'm a little bit I'm quite a few inches higher than that right now but I'm not in the 40s don't get twisted <laughs> um we've left that era <laughs> but just this is something I didn't think I'd get back until I lost all of the weight and I can wear it now Tora. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. The fact that I can wear it now. <laughs> Little chaos kitty. Uh, <laughs> it just it genuinely makes me happy. I hold on. Hmm little interrupter here in a very sentimental moment. Um, it genuinely makes me happy because 
it's more than just a mile marker <laughs> to me. It's literally like challenging what I believed about myself for a while. I like I was said I am borderline narcissistic. I'm not narcissist, but I'm borderline narcissistic in the fact that I have a very strong and very healthy self-love <laughs> and self-appreciation. I think I'm gorgeous. Didn't know if you knew that. I think I'm gorgeous. And um just something about putting on clothes that I used to wear that I thought I wouldn't be able to fit into anymore. Yeah. So I'm going to finish this and editing grace. Good luck with this chaos. <laughs> ah, chaos kitty. Okay. So now that all of the watery eyes have been dried, I love how reversible it is and it, yes I know it needs a steamer it does not look as cute as it could but let me not fool you with my lack of preparedness for this video uh yes 100% yes um like I said I got this in Shibuya and I love it I love it so much all right next and last on our list here is outfit 11 and this cute blazer with all these flowers i feel like i'm busting right out of it um it's cute it's just i need a little bit more time to get this more comfortable but it's kind of on the on the fence for me right now but isn't it just it, it looks like such a feminine move right there floral blazer all right, moving on to the dress. It is a moment. Like the slit in the middle. Uh, I definitely need a better bra for this, but. <laughs> it's just, it's a nice moment for me other than that right there um excuse me while i repop in these buttons <laughs> embarrassment aside uh these hips they do some damage let me just say So that's kind of it. <laughs> uh, the damage is behind me on the bed waiting to be sorted. But this dress is actually what prompted this entire video. Um, I bought this dress right before I started to have some issues. And I gave it to my mom for safekeeping. She couldn't fit it at first. And then within like nine months, we call it the pregnancy weight loss <laughs> uh she was able to not only fit it but she could no longer fit it properly because it was too big for her and then I took it back and I've just been using it kind of as my gauge to figure out where I am on my weight loss journey and like clearly I can fit it uh my hips are still a little too big I'm popping buttons <laughs> but um oh my gosh uh like this is back before I knew color theory for my skin tone rather than graphic design. Um, which you know is the same thing, but you, know, you think about it differently. Um, this is not necessarily my color, but like I showed with the um, bolero that I skillfully tossed off of the screen, um, like I could just add something with it and make it work or I could just give it away. It feels like I have so much sentiment with it, but I feel like I might not wear it as much now that I know that it does kind of, well, make me a little yellow. <laughs> but um, thank you so, so much for sticking around to the end and seeing my journey through my wardrobe. Like some of those things back there, I probably have mentioned it in the voiceover. 
I have never worn since high school, some of them even college. Um, I know it's some women's dream to get back into their high school size. It's not mine particularly. Um, I am going to get back down to that size, obviously on my journey to where I wanna go, but my lowest was in college. So uh, the fact that some of those pieces I got in college makes me excited. And I told you the whole story about the skirt and how much that means to me. Um, but <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Thank you again so, so much for following. I know it's not much of a conclusion, um, but just, just, oh, if you knew, if you knew, oh, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. Um, and I wanted to share that with everyone and I wanted to just like, oh my gosh, my face hurts from smiling so much. Uh, um, I just wanted to say thank you for following me on this journey as I continue down this path to figure out what is best for me and where I want to be. Um, yeah, just thank you so much for the encouragement and for the kind words and just the viewer viewing of the video and sharing it with people who might have similar like experiences or might want to do this like i don't know like there's something kind of cool about like a haul video that's not buying a whole bunch of stuff so much as just going through your closet and like discovering how your body's changing, whether it's like, oh, I need to get new clothes or, oh my gosh, I can fit into my old clothes. Like, I find that interesting. If y'all find it interesting, let me know. Um, but okay, I know, I know, I'm Southern. Leave me alone. <laughs> Goodbye, for real this time. Bye-bye. <laughs>